Whether we're serving government through AER or helping our commercial clients through Veris Climate, we use cutting edge technology to help improve the way we see and understand the Earth and how we measure the atmosphere and oceans. For example, our work helps the Department of Defense understand and address environmental challenges that affect operations, like navigation and communications. And our work advances weather science in ways that help save lives and mitigate economic loss. I study how gases absorb radiation in the atmosphere, which has major downstream implications for climate models. It's a small but important piece of the puzzle for improving the next generation of these models. It's not just AER and various climate acting alone. We're part of a major scientific ecosystem. Academia, government, the private sector. Our work benefits people everywhere. For example, investments made by NASA and USGS in the Landsat satellite program provide imagery used in our Fireline product, a product that is used by insurers and property owners to assess their exposure to wildfire risk throughout the Western United States. The government recognizes Fireline as a flagship product that emerges from this investment. What excites me most is how our team brings the research to a practical level, using it to address real challenges we face as a society and as individuals. As satellites and other remote sensing instruments get more and more accurate, we've made significant advances identifying small signs that signal major impacts on agriculture and hydrology, even at local levels. For example, we've already seen evidence of how change patterns of water distribution are adversely affecting cattle ranching in the Texas Panhandle. We're now able to accurately forecast the location and the amount of damage to roofing shingles five days before a hurricane hits land. Using that knowledge, we can help the largest U.S. manufacturer of shingles ramp up production and redirect shipments to the communities hit hardest. To the extent insurers use our information to determine where to deploy their catastrophe response teams in their most experienced adjusters, we're contributing to the recovery effort. The science has reached the point where we can help insurers fight fraud by estimating how much damage was caused by a hail event at a specific property location. We continually work to improve weather forecasting, especially winter weather, because of its impacts on energy resources. In terms of energy, we've also developed a blackout risk model, which assesses where a storm will hit and what impacts it will have on the power grid. Knowing where the major bottlenecks will occur helps the utilities to redistribute their resources to high-risk areas first, especially those that may have a cascading effect. We perform research on topics that range from measuring greenhouse gas emissions to studying how snowfall in Siberia affects winter weather in the eastern United States. We also work with scientists to transition leading-edge research to operational uses that benefit society and help people. For our part, we encourage our scientists to publish their research and contribute back to the scientific community. We also review reports prepared by other scientists before they are published and we participate in committees like those of the National Science Foundation that awards fellowships for the development of future scientists and engineers. On top of all that, we're encouraged to share our expertise with the larger scientific community. That's important to us and speaks volumes about our company.